hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new usually the first week of october i do like a little monthly reset and everything but i just got back from a week-long trip to connecticut because we had a family friend's wedding that we were attending but also just to visit my family and my friends i decided to leave a little bit earlier for the wedding if you don't know which i guess some of you may not know i'm originally from connecticut my parents moved down here to georgia so i hadn't been back in like months now that i am back in georgia i need to get back into my routine and stuff because i knew when i came back i would need to like do all the stuff that i normally do in a reset so i wanted to film that for you guys kind of like a cozy reset because fall is cozy season hence cozy reset sure i figured i would take you guys along with me like the next couple of days over the weekend i think first things first we're gonna start by unpacking my suitcase taking all my dirty clothes and doing laundry i also need to change my sheets on my bed so we're gonna do that we're gonna clean up my room i believe tomorrow i kind of want to find some more fall decor pieces but i also know that a lot of stores are putting out holiday stuff already which is insane my dad and i are planning to go to ikea tomorrow and pick up a desk that i ordered but welcome to the video let's get going with this cozy reset everyone i'm out of breath because i just went up and down the stairs i had like this pile of comforters and like com heavy comforters throw blankets and pillows that i typically use in the winter time but now that it's like fall and it was summer i just had this sitting in my closet i'll actually show you guys it used to be sitting on this shelf of my closet and taking up a bunch of space but now that it's like fall i have a bunch of sweaters that need to be folded like they can't be hung up with a hanger because it will stretch out the sweater i wanted to clear some space in my closet where i could like put the sweaters and stuff and because i'm not using these heavy comforters pillows and throw blankets and i don't anticipate using them again until it's like you know late november early december what i just did is I went in the garage and I found like a storage bin because we have two storage bins in the garage that are empty. So I took the storage bin, I wiped it, like cleaned it out. Now what I'm gonna do is try and fit all of this in one storage bin and just keep it in the garage. And then when it's winter time, I will, you know, take the stuff out and I'll use this. <laughs> you guys can see this is what the shelf looks like now so it's my running clothes and then my sweaters that need to be folded like this just looks so much better than having like that high pile of comforters and pillows 
which weren't being used. So I have this giant stack of books on my desk that partly I need to put away and the other part I just need to like put somewhere not on my desk. I wanted to give a little collective haul of some of the books that I've gotten recently. But basically, whenever it gets like chillier, I reach more for fantasy books. Like I feel like my typical reading genre is definitely like romance or romanticy. But then I feel like in the fall and winter, I find that I'm re usually reading fantasy books like one after the other after the other. And then if I need a break, I read like a quick, easy romance. That's a trend you'll notice here. First is The Love of My Afterlife. I actually won like a Goodreads giveaway that was happening. But the funny thing is this book came out in July and I already bought it. I feel like every other time I've won a Goodreads giveaway, it's always been for like an e-copy of a book. It's never been like a physical copy. So I was very excited. They sent me an ARC copy, even though the book's already out. So I don't know if it's one of those scenarios where like it said what in the giveaway, like when you entered it, it said like you'd be getting an ARC copy, but I did not know it. I have not read it yet. Like even though I own a copy, I have not read it. Honestly, I think this one, I'm either going to try and sell it because I did pay for it or I'll just give it to someone in my book club. I have two books from the library that I got before my trip and I just haven't read them yet. So one of them is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I'm a part of Sarah Caroli's Discord book club. This fall, a bunch of us are reading the Harry Potter books, which this is my first time reading the books. I watched the movies for the first time over the summer, so I've been re-watching the movies as I'm reading the books, but this is my first time ever reading the books. I just missed the whole Harry Potter wave when I was growing up. Like, my brother read the books growing up, but not all of them. I got him to join me. So him and I finished the first book, so we're starting the second one soon. This is Masters of Death by Olive Blake. This book also for Sarah Crowley's book club, we have two different book club books that we're reading this month. One is The Pumpkin Spice Cafe, which I'm currently reading. And then this is the other book club book. This one sounds so good. And then these are the two books I bought in Connecticut at Barnes because fun fact, the Barnes & Noble that was near me, it closed a couple months ago. So now the nearest Barnes to me is an hour and a half away without traffic so unfortunately i've been deprived of book shopping in person other than at target but basically i went to barnes had to because it's right by my brother's place and these are the two books i got because like i said i'm normally reaching for fantasy so first i got phantasma by kaylee smith came out recently but i have seen this book everywhere on my bookstagram account so many people on bookstagram and just instagram talking about this book and raving about it so I had to get it because unfortunately since it just came out my library doesn't have a copy yet so I decided to buy it and then this book is Light Lark by Alex Astor Astor this book I have seen on bookstagram specific in TikTok specifically from the author but I always save the TikToks in like Instagram reels and posts that I see about this book and I'm always like oh, I need to read that book and then I never do so when I was at Barnes I saw this on the table and I was like oh my god the cover of this book is gorgeous I don't know if the cover like the hardcover version was different or if there was a different cover because I could have swore this book used to have a white cover I'm very excited I know nothing about either of these books I'm kind of going in blind the only thing I know is that they're both very beloved books and they're romanticies. I have no idea what out of these four books I'm going to read next. But those are some of the books that I've gotten recently.
Hi guys, my dad and I had a little bit of a shopping slash errands day today. As part of this cozy reset, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of like a collective haul. Also, Rocky's here. He's very distracted by my apple cider. For this portion of the video, I kind of wanted to sit down and do a collective haul with you guys of some of my favorite fall clothing and decor pieces that I've been using a lot this past month. I also wanted to show you guys stuff that I recently got that I'm really excited to wear or continue wearing. So the first couple of things I want to show are from Anthro, this pumpkin shaped mug. It's like the perfect size. I actually got this from Anthropology last year. I know they have other colors at Anthro this year. They don't have this specific color. And then similar to that mug from Anthropology, I have pretty much the same mug in orange from Target. I think I got it in like the Target dollar section. The only difference is the one from Target is so tiny. Like I don't really use it as a mug because it's so small, but I would say if you're someone like me who has like an espresso machine, you could use it for that. I'll insert a picture of it from Pinterest. The next thing I have are these anthropology juice glasses. I believe one of these this one is called the mystic juice glass like white with the little like pumpkins on it this one i think is just the normal icon juice glass and it just has like these fall leaves all over it i love these anthropology cups for my iced coffees you can't put hot drinks in it because it's hand blown glass i did that once and my glass literally broke and I had to buy a new one. Honestly to me those anthropology juice glasses are more of like a collector's item like literally one of my goals is to have like every single icon glass. This pumpkin shaped candle from Target I got this last month I've been burning it pretty much since I got it. It's the scent pumpkin spice cupcakes and it just smells so good and honestly part of the reason I got it is because of the shape of the pumpkin it comes in because I feel like what I'm gonna do when this candle runs out, reuse it as like a decor piece. I went to Target yesterday to get that same candle scent vanilla pumpkin, but it's just in this like dish instead of the pumpkin shape. I got this one because I just wanted like a different scent to burn in my room. I love the scent. If you're someone who loves like the Bath and Body Works sugar cookie scent or like holiday cookie, whatever it is that they have in the winter time, this smells like that, like vanilla cashmere from EOS, that sort of vibe, like you'll probably really like this. I got this last year from Target, but they do still sell it and they have other designs. It's just this little appetizer plate and it's from the Target brand Threshold. Even though it's an appetizer plate, I just use it kind of as like a tray. I think that's it for like all the home stuff. I also have like a throw blanket and a throw pillow that I got from TJ Maxx. I can't really show it to you guys right now because the rest of the items for the collective haul are on my bed. One quick thing I want to include that I just really really like for fall and I bought it specifically for fall and that is the Rode Espresso Lip Tint. If y'all know me, I am obsessed with Rode. I knew that I wanted to get the Espresso Lip Tint specifically for fall because I just feel like the brown color is like perfect for fall. I've been wearing it non-stop since I got it and I wore it today. Now I have this Brandy Melville purse. I actually got this in London last year and I started using it again this fall. It's like a longer shoulder bag like there's it's not like right under your arm. I get a lot of compliments when I wear this bag and then also like I said because it's like that neutral color and brown color I just feel like it's great for fall. Moving on to clothing. In the fall I specifically love wearing crewnecks. Here are two of my favorite crewnecks. This one I got recently because I graduated so this Wisconsin alumni crewneck I got this at the university bookstore. It's like not a heavy sweatshirt but it's heavy enough. Something that's very similar to that that I have is this Harvard crew neck. This is a champion crew neck from the Harvard bookstore. I got this when I toured Harvard as a sophomore in high school so almost like seven years ago. It's getting a little worn out. Like it's starting to show that it's seven years old. I think what I'm gonna do to kind of like vamp it up is I'm gonna cut the neck on the sweatshirt so that it's a little more like off the shoulder. The next thing I have is this quarter fleece. It was a Christmas gift two years ago from my mom. In case anyone's trying to find this quarter fleece, the brand says Boxer Craft. 
but I have no idea where my mom got it from. But I do wear this a lot. I recently got these Aritzia Boyfriend Fit Sweat Fleece Cozy Fleece Sweatpants. They're just like straight leg sweatpants. They're so, so thick, but they're so comfortable. This is a maxi skirt from Brandy. I believe it's called the Izzy skirt or the Isabel skirt. I got this last year. It does come with a lining inside, which I really like. I feel like it's just perfect to kind of dress up a casual outfit. These are the last bottoms I'm going to talk about. And I actually bought another pair today at the skim store because they opened one in Atlanta and they were having a sale. So I bought another pair. But these are the Skims Loose Boyfriend Pant. I think that's what they're called. They kind of just look like boxers, but they're like meant to be lounge pants. But I honestly wear them as pajama pants. These are so freaking soft. Like I cannot take them off. I'm actually wearing the matching long sleeve right now, which I also bought because of how obsessed I was with the pants. And then today... The pants and the shirt were on sale, but I only bought the pants in black. One of my favorite long sleeves that I like to wear are these ones from Aritzia. These are the TNA Home Stretch Long Sleeve. They are ribbed. They're definitely more fitted because they're ribbed. Aritzia also has so many different colors of these long sleeves. They are such good quality and they last such a long time, but I wear those all the time in the fall like by themselves and then even into the winter i feel like fall is also you know sweater weather so obviously we're gonna show some sweaters so this one's from brandy this is a like little cable knit light heather gray sweater i love cardigans like this that are like the straight line down rather than like a v-neck i just feel like there's so many more ways that you can style a sweater like this because you can like do the top button and then leave the rest open. You could do the middle button and leave the top and the bottom open. There's just so many ways that you can style it. I got this sweater from Zara. This is a wool sweater, so it's going to be a little bit thicker and not quite as comfy because it's wool, but I wore this on my trip to Connecticut and I got a lot of compliments on it. I feel like this red color too is just perfect for like fall and the holidays it's got like the straight neck which once again gives a lot of options on how to style it the last sweater that i have is a cable knit like chunky cream off-white sweater from brandy it's currently drying so i don't have it like to hold up but i'll insert a picture because they are still selling it on the brandy website i got that also last year but i feel like for fall everyone needs like a chunky cable knit sweater and what I like about the Brandy Milva one is it's not like cashmere or wool, so it's not going to be like too thick that you're going to be like sweating in it. I usually like to wear just like a tank top underneath it. And then when it gets to like winter time, I like to layer like a long sleeve or something under it. A pair of shoes that I really like wearing. These are Boston clog dupes. I got these last year from Target. I wear them all the time. They're just easy to slip on and they're really comfy too. And a fraction of the cost of the real like Birkenstock ones. I have this vest. <laughs> got this last year in Paris. It's from Bershka, but it's like a faux leather vest. I feel like adding this on top, it just immediately elevates the outfit and makes it go from just like wearing something to like styling something. Like it immediately like makes it look more like put together, but it's also very warm. Even though it's faux leather, it is filled. Like there's like feathers or whatever in here so it does keep you warm those are some of the things that i've been loving to wear so far or things that i'm like going to continue wearing and i love fall especially like fall fashion and like clothing and decor so i had to share
It is the next day. I'm about to make my morning coffee so I figured I would show you guys my little fall coffee recipes that I've been drinking a lot lately. I started making this in August when the fall menu came out and that's a brown butter latte so if you guys know like last year on TikTok I think the brown butter latte from Whole Foods like went viral. So basically what you do for it is you take equal parts of caramel syrup and pumpkin pie syrup and you brew a shot of espresso over it or a double shot whatever you want over that and then you mix it up and you pour it over the oat milk and that is pretty much a brown butter latte i have an espresso machine i have the nespresso pop plus and my favorite nespresso pod to use to make my coffees is the bianco dobio which is like a double shot lately the drink that i've been making a lot is a cinnamon bun latte and i've been using the trader joe's cinnamon bun oat creamer i brew the espresso directly into my little espresso cup i fill half the cup with ice and then i pour about a third of this oat creamer and then i put the espresso over it the other one that i like to make is also a brown sugar latte but this creamer from trader joe's they have all year round so it's not really like a fall drink but i like it in the fall time and i do pretty much the same thing that i do for the cinnamon bun one i just instead of cinnamon creamer i use the brown sugar but i also figured I would show you guys some of my Trader Joe's fall favorites because I feel like whenever it's fall I always go to Trader Joe's to get their fall stuff because it is just it's top tier. I completely forgot to film when we came home and put everything away so unfortunately some of the Trader Joe's things that I love I don't have with me because I already ate them. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do still have and then the things that I don't have, I'll just insert a picture. The butternut squash mac and cheese, phenomenal. The Trader Joe's pumpkin overnight oats. Honestly, I only buy like one of them because it's a little too much pumpkin for me. The pumpkin spiced like sheet cake. I honestly could eat those little sheet cakes from Trader Joe's by myself. It's so, so good. One other fall treat that I like to get, not necessarily from Trader Joe's, but just like in the fall, apple cider donuts in my hometown in connecticut there was this little like farmer stand that my parents and i would stop at they had the best the best apple cider donuts ever like i feel like if you go to like a farmer's market or a little farmer stand that's the best place to get apple cider donuts trader joe's does sell apple cider donuts they're definitely not as good as when you get them fresh but they're still pretty good so i figured i would just shout those out moving on to the stuff that i do have kind of going along with the apple cider donuts something that i really like to drink in the fall especially with apple cider donuts is apple cider. This is the spiced cider from Trader Joe's. Also in the fall time, it's, you know, it gets chillier and it is just like the perfect season to have soup. Two of my favorite soups to get in the fall is the Trader Joe's creamy tomato soup. This is so good. And I love making like a little grilled cheese to eat with it this one this is the pumpkin butternut squash bisque with brown butter and sage i just feel like it needs more spices like it's kind of very bland but it's still pretty good and then another thing that i normally get that trader joe's was out of is i normally get cinnamon rolls when i was growing up my parents on sundays would usually make cinnamon rolls for breakfast so for me i associate cinnamon rolls with sunday mornings and also with the fall time the maple leaf cookies i think those are all the trader joe's like fall things that i really like to get i think i'm gonna go ahead and close out this video thank you all for coming along with me on my little like reset and getting ready for fall i'm really excited i know a lot of retail stores are like pushing christmas stuff out already but I personally will be celebrating and enjoying fall until Thanksgiving. If you're like me and you want to see more like fall themed videos, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. And if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I will see you all in my next video. Bye!